Hey guys, John Ortiz with BigYield.us. Today we're going to be discussing how to attain high yielding soybeans. Last week or the week before we discussed how to, or what my thoughts were on how to obtain high yielding corn. Some of the things that we're doing in corn we're also doing in soybeans. Uh, the number one thing that I see and is beneficial for obtaining high yielding soybeans is weed control. To start clean and to stay clean. There's a lot of different things that people are doing. Uh, both on the organic side and the uh, normal conventional farming. A lot of guys are throwing down a, a pre, which is very, very beneficial. But if we can get you guys to start spraying in the fall, that's even better to help control some of these winter annuals. With it being cold and wet like we've been having and seeing on the corn, it's going to delay things. And we've got some guys starting and already getting ready to start planting soybeans, depending on the area that you're at. But definitely, definitely start looking at using a seed treatment. Uh, we like to use our dry planter box seed treatment that is specially formulated for soybeans. We've also got one for corn, but this one is specific towards soybeans. It is an organic approved product. Uh, be sure to check with your certifier as well to make sure you guys can use this product. But again, it's a heck of a product. You over apply it on your normal uh, seed treatment, which a lot of you guys typically use a uh, fungicide, insecticide, uh, depending on if sudden death's an issue, you guys may be using a Levo or something along those lines. But again, you can overapply it on that when you're planting in the row or getting ready to start planting. Again, uh, in furrow, we're a big, big, big fan of using liquid fertilizer in the row. And we talked a little bit about using and incorporating the uh, furrow jet cruisers. Uh, we've got some guys that we worked with last year that were putting on anywhere from 10 to 15 gallons in the row with these new furrow jet cruisers. That's one of the things that we're looking at and we're doing some research here as well to see the benefits uh, that we get from those using the furrow jets as opposed to broadcasting dry fertilizer. Uh, we've seen some great things off that and seen some great data off that as well. Uh, not saying nothing wrong uh, with using dry, but we like to put everything directly in the row, directly where that plant needs it, to where it helps it get out of the ground quickly, emerge quickly, and that's, that's half the battle getting the, uh, the soybean out of the ground. All right, so we've done that. We've talked uh, weed control, seed treatments, in furrow applications, and last but not least, foliar application. We like to incorporate our big sweet yield product in everything we do. Every time we go across that field, whether we're doing a burn down, whether we're, we're making our first herbicide application, again, followed up at R1 to R3, some guys are going after as well. So best bang for the buck when we see foliar feeding is to apply anywhere between R1, R3 is where you definitely get the biggest bang for the buck when your flowers or soybeans are starting to set pods. So again, we like to do that. Big Sweet Yield DB as well. We'll come back R1, R3 foliar feeding. Uh, if you have to make a rescue trip, uh, incorporate the sweetener and some of these other products as well. Uh, that's some of the things that we've done. And we've also have some ROI sheets on the website that you guys can see as well. Hey, if you guys have any questions, feel free to reach out to us or contact us on the web or give us a call. Thank you guys very much and have a great day.